And once again, we're live. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're listening to us on the pad podcast, welcome. If you're listening to us or watching it, as I should say, on the YouTube channel, then welcome. I am joined by the lovely Philip. Hello, Philip. How are you? Good evening or good afternoon, dear Kate. Nice to be here. Oh, well, I'm very excited about this because we managed to just squeeze this in at the last moment um, because I know we've both got busy schedules, so it's fantastic that we could we could do this. I would love to hear about your journey with the Modern Mystery School. Now, I know that you're an award-winning musician, producer, and you're jetting all over the world and creating these music, if, if we could know more. Let's squeeze it in. So where do we start? Um, I think as a kid, I always loved music. I had a big dream playing in rock bands and I was always singing um, on the bed of my parents, like with a tennis rack as pretending it's a guitar uh, singing there. But I, um, I never really allowed myself to bring that forward. So I stuck with the music throughout my life. I played in bands um, and we got quite successful as well. But at one point I was like, uh, I think I need to make some money. So I followed more the money than my dream of being in a band and uh, touring the world. And there um, my soul got, got, got lost, the truth of who I am. And um, I was pretty burned out I, on that path. I, I received gold and platinum records, had amazing apartments in, in Berlin. But, but something, something was missing when I was just going for making um, music for money. And um, then in 2013, I stumbled into spirituality and that was nice. But um, here, I think also I sacrificed a little bit of my soul because um, I didn't thought that rock would be possible because at one point when you go into spirituality, it has to be mantra music. Everything has to be spiritual, or, you know? And um, so um, I got lost in spirituality, I would say that. I was burned out then got lost in spirituality. And in 2016, luckily, um, where I had what I would call uh, one of those near-death experiences, um, one I was on a spiritual retreat in Greece, was um, learning singing, singing meditation with a great man from Israel. And there was a woman also from Israel coming and to me and saying, there is um, um, a friend coming to Berlin teaching sacred geometry. And my ego was like pumped up with all this knowledge. I thought I knew everything. Uh, I was thinking, say good job, to flower of life. I know that. But once she mentioned her name, um, I was like, oh, I feel a lot of energy. And um, I followed that name and the call. And three days later, after the retreat in Greece, I found myself in the sacred geometry class that many people from the Modern Mystery School offering all over the world. Uh, me as well. Um, uh, it's a great class that I highly re can recommend. And when I walked into the door of that class, it was in a living room. As you know, those classes um, in, in living rooms and hotels, it felt so pristine. The energy was so clear. I never found that anywhere in all my spiritual seeking. And I was, some, I was like, something is going on here. And that crazy woman from Israel was talking about her name is Shani Lera. Much love to you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she was she she, she was talking she was talking about, oh, I'm going to London and, and initiating people into this great lineage of King Solomon. And I heard already uh, like within like a voice, oh, you should go there, you should go there. But my ego was, ah, yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, on the way back from that class, sacred geometry, I had a car in front of me and it said MI5 was on the car plate, which is the Secret Service of London. Oh, and then um, I had some great, that. right? <laughs> and um, I had some great falafel on the, in the same evening and people came in from London. So I, I took those signs and uh, went and three days later to London and got initiated. And since then, my whole life changed. I had a thing called a uh, life activation in between, which is like a prerequisite to go to this initiation, right? And um, especially in these days, I'm thinking without this uh, life activation and initiation, I would have never met, for example, you, Divina Kate, or many other people. I would not um, fly around <laughs> around the world so much. Um, w through the mystery school, I'm now pursuing my dream and also like um, singing and allowing myself. There's a lot of great stuff coming up. Uh, in the next month, and um, and um, yeah, I, I I can say definitely I owe all the tools and all those teachings that I'm applying, definitely my life that I'm living, and I can highly recommend who feels resonation what I'm saying or what you guys in with Modern Mystery School UK and INT bring out there, check it out because I think it's amazing. 
I love, thank you so much for that. Now, it's so interesting to hear people's different perspective because obviously you're a musician in, in a very different world. And, you know, um, you know, we often see musicians, you know, rock stars and what have you, that they maybe they, um, you know, also feel like that, that they're just making uh, music for money sometimes. And maybe they turn to drugs or alcohol or party, whatever it is. And you turn yeah. to spirituality, which, you know, it's like, oh my goodness, you, you can see that though. But what's interesting in it is that, that you notice the energy, the difference in the energy. You, you notice yeah. that. Huh. I mean, uh, I, everything you were talking about, I know that too from myself. I've been um, on stages with everything you were talking about and experienced that um, intoxicated. But um, in, in the mystery school, you learn basically how to achieve those higher states without taking, you don't need to take anything. Basically, you're accessing your highest spirit and then tap into that and then bring it down into your songs and your manifestations, which becomes a much more true and authentic expression. So the fruits um, is, is much in alignment with, 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 your, with your truth, with your heart, with your spirit. And um, I can see many musicians out there as well. Like at one point we write for the industry, songwriting, right? That one, what, want the, what do the people want to hear in these times, right? But it's not about that. It's more like cutting through the conditioning and access your spirit so you can you bring the song down that your soul and your spirit wants to sing. The greats, be it Michael Jackson or David Bowie, it was never about like, uh, it was always like the truest expression of who they are. And that made them especially also abundance because it was so authentic. Yes, it's such, and I can, you know, you talking now, I can feel like so many um, artists across the board would be so inspired because it's, you know, it's that connection to their soul contracts and their um mm. their being and they they're able to share that authentically without any pollution without any you know all, all distractions so oh my goodness yeah i mean you know we've speak, spoken to a lot of different people from different backgrounds but you know you speaking from this artist perspective um i i think is really valuable and really important uh, yeah, and, and not not sacrificing yourself or the, the the true self for others because you want to please in your art. I mean, it it, it goes for every artist, be it like um, painting or a sculpture, everything. Um, those greats, M Michelangelo or uh, Leonardo da Vinci, they were all initiates, and there was there was always sacred geometry in there. They knew what were they doing there, even though they're they're some say they're holy God and angel. Their true spirit was flowing through them. Um, it's really amazing if you have those tools and to clear your energy so you are more in attune, uh, in attunement with your with your truth. Thank you so much, and I can highly recommend um, listening to your uh, music. I mean, I have uh, the last one that you did. Is it the Temple of yeah, Temple Mind? Is, is is like my my sound healing project that is like with sacred frequencies that help the cells to attune. A lot of science goes into that, but also the heartfelt music. So definitely check that out. Yeah, thank you for that shout out. Yes, because I use that for all my life activations now. I'm going to be using it in healers. I love it. I absolutely mm. love it. it. Just you know, for me, it just boom. It just changes you know the whole frequency, and I and I really really appreciate that. And I listen to a lot of spiritual music. You know, <laughs> trying to find that perfect. You know. And you can yeah. really tell, you know, well, I personally can tell the training that you've had and mm -hmm. the thought that has, um, you know, gone into that. So thank you so much for that. And I know we've got many, many more exciting projects come. And um, Philip, can we um, put your um, uh, details in the chat box um, so people can listen to it? Um, for sure. For sure. Yeah, I would put them in there. Okay, great. Thank you so much. And we hope to speak to you again very soon. Um, cool, yeah. And thank you, everybody else, for joining us. Take care for now. Bye. Thank you, Edwina Kate. All the best. Bye bye.